Joseph Ricotta, National Medical Director of Vascular Surgery and Endovascular Therapy at Tenet Healthcare, and Professor of Surgery and Program Director of the Vascular Surgery Fellowship at Florida Atlantic University School of Medicine. So one of my passions is medical education. Uh, I spent my whole career at big academic centers, and so when I came down here to South Florida, I wanted to develop a training program to train the future vascular surgeons. And when we set up the structure of that training program, we really wanted to encompass the best of a very busy, robust clinical surgical practice with exceptional academics and scholastic activities, encompassing everything from the most complex surgical procedures to the simplest ones, using the most updated advanced technology. There's nothing that we don't do here at Delray Medical Center that they don't do at the largest academic medical centers in the world. We like to be at the tip of the spear. We were the first in the country to do endovascular robotics here. We do more endovascular robotics than anybody in the world. We were the first in Florida to do a procedure for carotid disease called T Car. We're one of the highest volume centers in the United States and we're one of a few centers of excellence in the country for TCAR. We've established a limb salvage center here and we do cutting edge treatment for peripheral artery disease. We've decreased the rate of amputations here by 86%. Tenet, Delray Medical Center, Florida Atlantic University have all invested heavily in our vascular surgery program to make that possible. I'm Dr. John Ricotta, vascular surgeon and uh, professor of surgery. Uh, at FAU. I've been practicing vascular surgery since 1980, and I've served as the uh, chairman of the Vascular Surgery Board for the American Board of Surgery, as well as the director of the Residency Review Committee for Surgery. One of the things that strikes me the most about this is the level of institutional commitment to vascular surgery. They've invested a lot of time and effort in the development of this program. It's been very successful and clearly vascular surgery is well recognized within the institution and well thought of and well supported, which is extremely important for an educational program. We've really established a national and international destination for vascular surgery here at Delray Medical Center. So we have doctors, trained vascular surgeons and other physicians from all over the country and quite honestly all over the world come here to Delray Medical Center and learn these new surgical techniques such as TCAR, fenestrated and branched endografts, endovascular robotics, limb salvage, pulmonary embolism treatment. So these fellows can come in here and be exposed to all these latest and greatest technologies. I'm Ahmed Gamrawi. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. So looking for a vascular surgery fellowship, I wanted to make sure I ended up in a place that had a wide variety of cases where I could learn different techniques. One of the special things about vascular surgery is that you have multiple different options in treating patients different pathologies. My name is Jake Foreman. I'm one of the vascular surgery fellows here at Delray Medical Center. I'm from Framingham, Massachusetts. I wanted to make sure I got everything from what we would consider like simple vein procedures all the way up to advanced aortic procedures. So that's one of the benefits of working with Dr. Ricotta is he takes on everything. There's no case that's too small or too big. So for me, that's great because I have exposure to everything. So by the time I'm done with my two years here, I don't feel like I've missed out on anything. When I was searching for a program as well, a big concern with the advancement of endovascular surgery, a lot of opportunities are missed for open procedures. That's not a concern here. We get them all the time. So you have all these wide breadths of procedures and you're able to pick and choose which one you know, best suits the patient. One of the biggest problems in surgical training now is that many of the residents don't actually do major portions of the cases until very late in their training and sometimes they never actually do a complete case before they graduate. We have this uh, philosophy of progressive autonomy. In this training program, when you finish, you will know how to operate. These fellows know how to operate and they can handle any vascular emergency, it's the simplest to the most complicated cases. I think that's very unique in uh, training programs in the United States today to be able to have so much autonomy and independence and really develop confidence and, and comfort in the skill sets that uh, are needed to be successful when you get out into practice. I always tell the fellows, you have to act like you are the only doctor for this patient. Although the buck stops with me and the other attending surgeons, when you approach a patient that way, it develops a certain mindset when they graduate, they're ready to go on day one and, and comfortable with dealing with any vascular issue that may arise. 
So I think that Dr. Ricardo is a great role model for what I want to be as a vascular surgeon. The care that he provides for his patients and the level of detail that he works in is uh, really an inspiration for me. He's actually the reason why I went to vascular surgery in the first place, rotating with him in the service. I originally I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But rotating here as a general surgery resident, I was able to see all the amazing stuff that he does here and that kind of led me into vascular surgery. So working with Dr. Ricotta has been great. I've learned a lot. He tries to instill in us his attention to detail. So that's the biggest thing I've learned from him. Really, the rewarding part of it is seeing them develop and mature and evolve over that two-year fellowship period from basically knowing nothing on day one to being very competent, expert vascular surgeons ready to go out into the world. For the fellows that are coming in, I'd say be ready to work hard. This is a great place to train because of the exposure to everything. You're gonna learn a lot, not just about operating, but the art of vascular surgery in general and taking care of these types of patients. I think that the program that's been set up here is broad in nature, deep in terms of experience, and allows the residents to get the uh, richest possible experience that they can get. Because it blends and combines a very busy clinical practice with high-end academics and scholastic pursuits, when you finish this fellowship, you have all of the skills to do anything you want in vascular surgery. You can go out into clinical practice and be in solo private practice, or you can go to you know, the highest level academic medical centers and be successful there. So I think that not all the vascular fellowships in the country can offer that, this big range of clinical volume with the academic pursuits that enables fellows to really choose any career path that they want. 